Show off your robot to thousands on the front page of Twitch. Submit your robot reveal video to Fun Premiere Night by going to tinyurl.com forward slash fun2019 info to learn more. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, some more, you know, uh, in-season kind of related stuff. So how does your guys' team approach kickoff? Uh, what does your team do that you think results in a more successful season compared to other teams? So for our team, we view kickoff as kind of like a celebratory day. In the morning, we meet at our town's municipal center. We have about 150 people there. That's students, alumni, mentors, parents. We also invite our sponsors and public dignitaries. And this past year, we also had a Connecticut news station come down, which was really cool. And then we all watched the game be released. And after that, we head back to our shop. There we break into groups about three or four, and we break down the game and read through the game manual. At five o'clock, the entire team comes together, and we have a small team of students who puts on a rules, rules presentation, and we go through the scoring rules and the game, and we talk about how like the game is going to be played that year. After that, we break into four smaller groups, and each group figures out what they think the strategy should be and each group presents to the entire team, and we continue to break down into groups until our team has decided on what strategy we want. And then we break, we write down our strategy and our goals for the season. And over the next few days, we talk about prototypes and designs that would meet our goals. We end up prototyping for about two weeks before we go into the CAD room and finalize our design. And two aspects that I think make us successful is the amount of time that we put in and the fact that we're constantly improving our robot. Because of our dedicated students and mentors, we're able to be here almost every day of the week from the day of kickoff until world champs. And we're constantly just changing what we're doing and figuring out new ideas for our robot. Awesome. A um, lot of good info there. Um, so then kind of moving into the competition season some, uh, what does your guys' team do for scouting at events, and, and how do you utilize the information you gather during that? Well, I'll take this one. Um, the I can't do this one really justice, considering what they, the time that the mentors and the students put into this, but um, we take scouting pretty seriously. From the uh, minute the game is announced, the, the scouting... Uh, mentors and students they start meeting right away to break down the game and um, the uh, what they look for is you know what kind of data do we think would be beneficial for uh, scouting uh, the matches and pit scouting as well and they go through they meet about three four days a week and they finally after uh, I would say by the time week one comes they have all the, the data down, and they have it on uh, Microsoft tablets. And um, the, they, they actually start watching the, uh, the webcast of competitions, and they test out the system to see how it works. And they also train the rest of the team. The entire team, pretty much, has to scout. So um, they, they have all these training sessions, and they, they make sure that everybody is getting the correct information. We constantly... Um, tell the students that incorrect data makes us make the wrong decision. And it's very important that I rather, you know, we rather have no data for a match and go back and look at video rather than just put in something just so that you can submit it. Um, so once, once the data is in the tablet for, we have about 10 students per match that are scouting. Once the, the information goes in a tablet, it gets downloaded into a database after every match. And we also videotape every single match, and that's downloaded into the database as well. And what you're you're seeing on the screen right now is a robot snapshot. Um, that has all the data from all their matches that they played, and uh, like that's last year's. It's telling me, you know, what where they put the cubes? Did they put them in the scale? Did they put them in the switch? Did they play defense? Um, you know, did they break down? Uh, did they climb? Where did they climb from? Um, where did they even start off at, at, you know, autonomous? And that information is all on one sheet there. And the, you can look at that instantaneously on the computer. And then there should be one that it's, it's, it has a match report. It has six different uh, robots. That's that one that you're looking at right now. And for every... Um, while match, we come with this sheet, and the there's. I sit down with uh, a, a few of the students 
um, from the strategy team and the scouting team, and we actually come up with a strategy for the match that they can also predict. It's amazing what these guys do. They can predict the score for a match. So we know that if we're, um, you know, there's a match that we're going to lose by 30, we look at how can we make up those 30 points um, by strategizing a match a certain way. And uh, then the biggest part is the, the finesse of presenting this to your alliance um, partners. Um, you, you go through with this, you tell them about your strategy that you formulated, and, you know, you kind of need them on board. And sometimes it doesn't go well and you have to almost, you know, you have to kind of together come to a different strategy that you think will work. But most of the time when you go with all this data, that there's no, they're, they're, you know, they can't say, oh, yeah, I don't see what you're talking about there. It, it's all there. Um, the same thing with the, when we go for, um, after every competition, we have something which I call the, uh, it's called the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, there should be a, a slide up of that. And uh, the scouting team gets down and, and they, they look at everything that went well uh, in a competition, everything that was bad, and everything that was really ugly. And, and they look to it, what changes is needed. They also scout our team and have all our stats and they tell us how we should be. But we have we have the drive team there at that and we talk about it. Um, the, uh, for picking alliances, we have something called the Cyber Scouter, which is, uh, I, I'm looking at it right now, um, so if Tyler puts it up. The Cyber Scouter um, will list all the teams on, on a graph and you can uh, we have what we call our dynamic 195 OPR. And it actually makes its own pick list based on uh, 195's OPR. And, and what is the 195's OPR? It's what we think is the best complementary robot for us. It's not what the OPR of the, the event is versus what we think we need as our first pick. And we also can change the parameters on it of what we think we need as a second pick. So we can, we put weighted averages to different things and it just basically makes a list and it ranks them from one to 50, no matter how many at our competition. So, um, you know, kudos to, uh, the scouting team. I always say that they're one of the most important parts of, uh, uh our team. And, you know, that's why so many students are, are, uh, uh, involved with it and you know that's that's the gist of it it's not easily put down but that's how it runs and sure. yeah it's very involved and, and it's got to be to to have the effect you need at competitions thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud live and independent pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now